Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you're having an awesome day. Today I have an awesome camper for you. It is the 2022 Elk Ridge 38 RSRT. This thing is absolutely feature heavy for the pricing. It looks beautiful inside and out. It's definitely something you're going to love. Features two full baths and a big old bunk room. Really nice outdoor kitchen. One of my favorite floor plans by far for a bunkhouse model of this size. And for the price tag, you really can't beat it. And if you guys are interested in the price of this, make sure to email me. That'll be in the description of my video. But it is hunter at the rvhunter.com. I would love to prove to you why the dealership that I work for, RV Nation, is one of the top in the land. And that's because of price, 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 and of course, service. But again, that's hunter at the rvhunter.com. And if you guys, uh, you know, would be so kind, hit that subscribe button for me. It helps me out a whole bunch. So this is going to be one of the two full baths. This is kind of the, the kids' bath. As you can see, there's the entrance door. There's another door blocking the way of the, you know, the bunk room, which I'll show you here in a second. But you got this nice sink, a little mirror, your controls for your fan and an outlet. The fan is up there, and you have your skylight to the right of that as well. Good size shower with a tub, so perfect for smaller children. You know, really, I guess anyone. You enter here, and this is a fantastic area. It's not only a bunk room, but it's also kind of a hangout room, a chill spot, you know, a playroom. You have plenty of space here in the middle. And at night, you can pull this out right here, this couch pulls out to make, you know, a full size bed. So it'll come out to about right here, ready to rock and sleep, you know, easily two on that. And then, you know, you kind of have this bunk bed right here. That's kind of in that stow and go mode, that day mode, but you pull this pen and that pen, you lay it down and it holds a 200 pound person. No problem. A little window here, which I have kind of in that blackout mode right now, but nice to have that lights. You can click on there. Over here across from the couch, you have this nice area where you can put a really good sized TV. There's also a TV backer. Maybe you can put on a little swivel bracket, something of that nature. Really good sized bunk bed here. And if you're concerned about, you know, the height of that underneath this, we do have a ladder ready for you. You just latch on, you can scurry on up and you're ready to roll. So you have that entertainment center right there to the right and to the left. You have plenty of good storage, and then just underneath it, you have three little pull-out dresser drawers. Let me pull up this side. So the other one is going to be identical to this. But as you can see, really good space in there. Put plenty of clothes or, you know, whatever knick-knack items you got. Three of those bad boys. One, two, and three. You have this little lip in here. You could probably put, like, a gaming system, DVD player couple other little random items, I suppose. And then to the left, you have tons of storage with these little shelves in there. So that way you can stow away all the clothes you need for a week long trip. No problem. Probably some blankets, you know, all that good stuff that you just kind of want to pack right away. Let me open these up and I'll show you that. And as I'm doing these videos every week, you know, I mentioned I'm trying to get a little bit better as I go along, getting used to it for sure. If there's something that I'm missing that you would like to see, definitely let me know. I'm here to improve, and I would love your input. I mean, you guys are my customers, so that's what I'm trying to, to get done. All right, so now we leave this little bunk area, and we're going to head into the main living portion you know, of the camper where you're going to spend your day, have your breakfast, have your dinners, all of that good stuff, assuming you're not outside. So right here you have this really nice booth this is actually part of a bed but you have this nice booth that will drop down to make a bed really fluffy good cushions there as you're gonna see there's plenty of windows all around this slide is absolutely massive and the windows that are in them are massive as well this section right here has a little pull-out couch hey Brandon so this has a pull-out couch. That way you can sleep even more people if that bunkhouse area doesn't get the job done for you. 
really good size 50 inch TV so you can play some movies. This is also on a swivel mount so you can pull it out and angle it for a little bit of a better view. That fireplace right there actually has a setting to go from, I believe, 72 all the way up to 100. So this thing can get absolutely roasting and 100 degrees is absolutely no joke on this. I turned it on on accident and this camper got so freaking hot. I'm sweating bullets and it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. You can also change some of the different, you know, viewing settings for whatever mood you're in. So I think that's pretty cool. Really nice feature to have. We'll save you some money on some propane. You got your fuse box right there. A couple different cubby areas for some storage. And then above, of course, you know, you have even more storage, just like just about every RV does. Got these little designs on there, which are, you know, a little cooler than your normal, you know, just kind of a window pane. So that gives you a little good idea of what you can expect up there if you're interested in this bad boy. And right here is going to be where all your controls are. So for your hydraulic slides, your awning, your lights everywhere, your different tank heaters. This camper holds up very well into the extended three seasons. If you want to use it in the depths of winter, you know, you'll need to do a little bit of work, but not much. I'm talking about if it's below zero. You can also see where your tank levels are. This camper is getting ready to leave, you know, tomorrow or the next. So there's, you know, no water in there. All we got to do is clean it up a little bit and zip her out. I like these little lighting fixtures here, these little metal prisms. I always find it interesting what kind of decor they use for these RVs. There's always some really creative ways, you know, to kind of decorate these that you don't often see inside of a home. And I'm here for it. I think it's pretty neat. Nice little island kitchen area. Plenty of storage, as you can see, all over the place. And an absolutely massive refrigerator, you know, to pair up with that oven and microwave that are all really good size for an RV. Really good depth on that. It goes all the way through to the end of the slide. I don't even think I can, yeah, I can reach it with the tip of my finger. I'm six feet tall. If you want to see the arm I'm looking, I'm working with, I mean, check that thing out. That thing's pretty long. It's a good arm, real good arm. All right, so this is, uh, I don't know what they would call it, your little L island, uh, not an island, but little L counter. Outlets right there, solid surface countertops all throughout. So if something did happen to chip, the design would go all the way through. You could get it filled, you know, whatever you got to do there. If you have kids, you know how that's going to go. Something's going to bust eventually. Move my drying rack, this little whirly do. But you have your absolutely massive stainless steel single mount uh, bowl. You got that little snake do job so you can hit those dishes, you know, from all angles. A nice little residential feel uh, to the camper there. Plenty of storage here underneath. Hopefully the camera picks it up. But tons of storage there, actually. You can fit in a garbage can. Really all your cleaning supplies that you could possibly ever need for a very, very long trip. One, two, and three drawers there. Another outlet. And a lot of good storage space up there. And whatever you want to put up there, I guess you can. I don't know what you would, but if you guys put stuff up there, maybe send me a picture, post it up on Instagram. And that's the RV Hunter too. If you guys ever want to see, you know, 30 second, 45 second uh, versions of every camper I do for YouTube, I also do, you know, a really quick short tour, blow right through it, show you all the important spots. But uh, people seem to like it. It's doing pretty well. Got about... I had 12,000 followers, 12,500 followers on there, and 147,000 on TikTok, so the kiddos really like it. Doesn't sell too many campers off TikTok, but it's pretty fun to do. Nice little hobby. High point microwave, convection microwave. Give you some tickets to the gun show real quick. Working on it, October 20th of uh, this year. I weighed 318 pounds. Now, not even 30 days later, I am weighing 289. So I'm actually slanted on that side. Had a baby girl, so trying to live a little bit of a healthier life. 
make a little bit of extra money through YouTube, some sales through that. Going really well. Team Girl Dad. Oh, forgot to take off the safety latch down here. There you go. Yeah, there's two of them. Jeez, Pete's. I'll tell you what, it's a good thing I'm friendly. So, really good freezer spaces, two of those drawers. And again, I'll show you this. Massive residential refrigerator. Needs to be unpacked and ready to roll so the customers, when they come to pick up, can hook it up and roll. But, this is the living room again. Give you a nice little quick tour of that again. And then we'll head on up into the bathroom, the bedroom, then the outside. And if you guys have made it this far, 11 minutes of this tour, if you could at this moment, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, here's gonna be your controls where you can get do all your temperatures. This is the second bath, second full bath, I guess. We saw the first one there in the back of the, uh, the bunk room. A little bit nicer in this one, a little bit more space, a little bit nicer decor. You have this little shelf here, two of these little octopus hooks. Love those things. Every time I see them, I chuckle a little bit. Sink, storage, there's also some storage there underneath. And then you have a good size shower. Got a little seat there so you can sit down, maybe rest, let the water hit you, maybe shave your legs, heck, I don't know. All right, now to the bedroom where the magic happens, baby. So you got this door right here. You just unhook that, boom. Slide it closed. You got another control for the temperature. So if you want this room a little bit different temperature, you're ready to roll. Really nice size bed here. And if you guys want any specs on the camper, I am going to put that in the comments. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. I'm sorry, in the description. But so you got your lights right there for the slide. that will pop this one and that one off. Two USBs. Two USBs. And you have two shelves as well. Let's give you a little bit of a closer look there. I like the way that the decor looks, you know, throughout this entire camper, but I think the bedroom is especially slick. All right, right over here, you got yourself a dresser. On top of here, you also have a wireless charging station, so just plop your phone right there. Cordless charging if your phone allows it and you're ready to roll. Your TV backer station with all the hookups you need, including two outlets and a place for satellite and cable. All right, so you have three of these drawers and three of these slightly bigger drawers. So, you know, you can definitely fit in, like I said, that week's worth of clothes. Absolutely no problem. If you want to do some laundry in this bad boy, open up these right here. And you're going to see you have all your hookups for your washer and dryer. If you don't put a washer and dryer in, it's a lot of really good space for a traditional closet. So you have your nice hanging bar. Put your hanging clothes. Also goes through to here. I'll show it to you from the other side. But you got this nice shelf with a little bit of a lip on it. More places to put more hanging clothes. And as you can tell, there is a lot of floor space. Width, depth, and height. This thing is a great little feature to have. Really nice closet. All right, now let's go ahead and walk all the way through the camper out the back. And then I'll show you around here for a couple moments on the outside, point out a couple things. And we'll be ready to roll. Got the lady right now, she's cooking, uh, what do she call it, zucchini lasagna. It's, uh, it's pretty darn good, you know, it sounds kind of gross, you know, you're replacing the pasta with zucchini. A little funky, a little weird. But I'll tell you what, it is absolutely amazing. You wouldn't even really notice, except for the texture is a little bit more, uh, I guess crunchier than you know your traditional lasagna pasta but pretty good i'm pretty excited for it so you have a ladder that goes all the way up to the top for your fully walkable roof so you can do all of your maintenance up there without having to worry on you know falling through your camper or damaging it or hurting yourself right here you got a space for 
an observation camera. I recommend the Furion S Vision. Runs you $550. It's pretty easy to install as well. Solid more rides or step above steps. So that's great. You know, the days are quickly going away on campers that have those flimsy stairs. I mean, those are absolutely sturdy. Even something like these smaller Nobos got them. The Arctic Wolf has them. I mean, just about every camper is really putting them on. So right here you have a hitch. So if you want to put on, um, you know, like some bike racks or something like that, you know, you're good to go. Back up, give you a nice view of this camper again with that absolutely massive slide. You got dual axles, six point auto leveling. So that's a nice feature to have one click of a button and you're leveling this bad boy up in a camper this size. That'll definitely save you a lot of times, a lot of time and probably a headache as well. So I parked this thing a little bit too close to this, not thinking I want to open up this outdoor kitchen for you, but I'm going to have to hold the door. So not the best view of the outdoor kitchen, but you're going to get a good view of it. Good storage up there. Nice little sink and a mini fridge. And then obviously plenty of space to do some prepping or maybe put like a little like a little cooktop in there, something of that nature. Underneath this as well, there is, well, I'm not going down far enough, but there is a little quick connect, so that way you can hook up, you know, a grill, you know, as well. Another set of those more ride steps. You have your spare tire there underneath here. So you just unscrew and pull it out. Really easy access to that. A little place where you can tie up your doggy. Put a little leash, I think that's pretty neat. They put the little paw print, that's funny. Nice pass-through storage, absolutely massive pass-through storage actually. So that'll allow you to pack rat anything that you need. And camping, people that camp have unique ability to pack rat stuff away, I know I sure do. You got a couple outlets if you wanna put a TV out here. And these are slam latch. They're pretty thick. They got some really good weight to them. You know, as you can see, I mean, that's got some power. And then right here, it's a magnetic latch. So, boom. Well, again, this is the 2022 38 RSRT, an absolutely fantastic camper. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are in the market, make sure to email me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, do feel free to email me. I am here to help. And as always, if you guys want some quicker versions of all these, check me out on Instagram, the RV Hunter. Have a great day. Bye.